Hey guys, and welcome to an episode of How to Make a Pokemon Game, slash me making Pokemon Neon Glow with Pokemon Essentials. So if you guys somehow don't know, which is very possible, I guess, Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Neon Glow is a g game I am making. I've been making it for a while. There's a full tutorial on my, there's like a full playlist of tutorials actually on my channel. It's pretty cool. There's also like playlists with me like making the sprites for the game and the fake Hemon that will be in it. Stuff like that. But this series is to show you guys how to make a Pokemon game. It covers sort of the basics and some of the advanced stuff that you might want to know. So in this episode, I'm going to try to show you how I make tiles. I haven't quite done this yet. I usually do blind tutorials. But if it doesn't work at first, of course, I always fix it up off camera and then show you what I did. So it's not like it's super duper long boringness. But anyways, guys, in case you've been watching for a while, there is something I should show you beforehand. This file here, it's just version 16.1. So it's not really a full version, but it does fix a lot of bugs. So what you want to do is you just want to copy these three scripts. And then, well, mine's Pokemon Neon Glow. And then here, with Daga, you just want to delete the same three scripts and then paste those in. And what that does is it just fixes a whole lot of bugs because version 16 before 16.1 it's pretty buggy. But now that that's out of the way, a lot of bugs are fixed. So now I can actually do a tutorial. I was kind of holding it off because I wanted to fix the bugs first before I started doing this. But now that it's fixed, I can show you what you want to see. But that I just cut for a bit while I made a backup. But now I'll show you what to do. So I just go into a folder version 16. You want to go to graphics and then tile sets, not tables. I always get the two computers. But here are the multiple tile sets. You have like bike shop, boat, caves. It tells you everything you need to know. I'm kind of looking for outside. Is that even here? It is, isn't it? Is that what I'm thinking of though? Yeah, it appears to be all the outdoor related tiles. There's a lot of them, isn't there? Alright. So, hmm. I don't know. I'm going to make a leaf pile, I guess, would be mine. So, I just need to open this with paint. And you pretty much just draw on it, like, like anything else, I guess, with paint. It's drawing it, and you can, and you want to draw in one of the blank open spaces of happiness. So I'm just looking, so the white is comes up transparent in the second level layer of course. These X squares are squares that you can't walk through but these are blanks. So X squares are the ones that you actually are editing right now. So I'm going to find an X square that's on its own because I don't want to have to look at this silly red line in the middle. It's hard to define where one square ends and one square starts with the red line. It's a little bit hard to tell where the middle is exactly. But if I find an on its own square, I'm assuming square somewhere. Here, we'll just go here because this looks like it, the nature stuff. We'll put our leaf pile square right there. So what I'm going to do is of course I'm just going to make it white. I guess. I haven't done this before, guys, so I'm not 100% sure. Probably be easier to just erase it. And you don't need to use paint, I guess. You can use whatever, like, thing you want, of course, but I use paint because it's just easier, I guess. But yeah. So, actually, let's get ready to speed art because I'm just going to speed art this little tile on. It shouldn't take too long, but let's go be boring to watch the whole thing. <laughs>
have it, guys. So it doesn't really look like what I want it to, but it does look like, I don't know, an odd patch of grass. You could use it to make a forest look more interesting and stuff. I like to use a variety of the different grasses. It makes it look a lot better, actually. If it's one gra type of grass for real, it looks plain. So placing a couple of these around would actually look pr pretty cool, probably. Although it doesn't really look like a leaf pile like I want it to. It does... I don't know what it actually looks like, but it's kind of interesting, I guess. So, could be useful. So that's a separate tile. Like, you can see, it like, cuts off right here. It's a little square. But anyways, guys, the one thing I need to warn you about before you go doing this is... Paint, at least, makes it so that all transparency is lost. Meaning, I need to make all the white parts are supposed to be transparent. So not the X's, but, like, this stuff here... And everything, I need to make that all transparent again, which will take quite a little bit. I'll probably miss a few, so. It sucks. So if you want to add a tile, it does have that one major downfall of taking forever to add you all back. At least if you use paint. It's probably different for some other things, but I'll just save it. And let's see if it's there. It looks like he is, guys. So now there's a new tile right there. So I'll just go to GIMP, fix that off, up off camera, and then I'll show you what to do next. See you in a second, I guess. So guys, it took me quite a while, actually, but I finally made all of these little spots, like here, here, and everything transparent. It took forever, but now it's all good. And as you can see here, if I can find the top, the tile is in the game right there. Pretty cool, I think, to have that in. So now we're going to see how it works and stuff. I'm going to show you how to actually use it in game. And by the way, guys, you can edit it to whatever you want. You can use any of the X squares you want. Just don't forget about transparenting and all that good stuff. But anyways, now we'll go to the blue game file. So editor mode type thing. And we'll ignore the house that we'll show up in. I've been editing this house. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I'm kind of just practicing, like, playing around with stuff. It's just a messy house with tons of books everywhere. Uh, just seeing, like, what I could do with the books. Like, making events with them. But it probably won't make it into a game. Like, it's nothing important if you see something here. So just ignore it. Yeah. It's just a messy place, like, as you can see, all the books have invents, so, like, I was just practicing what you could do with it. But this isn't the point. Let's just go to Granite Town. Everybody knows this place. And let's put, actually, we'll go, to like, Route 1, where there's more grass. And somewhere we'll plug in our new grassy leafy pile thing. So it's right here. And we just place it down. Looks like that. It's kind of weird, kind of interesting. But guys, that's not the last part, because even though that might look complete and all that, it doesn't have properties. So we need to actually undo that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go here to, I think it's either database or materials. I'll find out. Anyways, yeah, it's here. So tile sets, and you want to go outside, and here's the thing. So. The O's, I believe, are things you can walk through, whereas the X's are things that you can't. So we want to change that from an X to an O. That's pretty simple. So now it's a pa passage we can walk through. You can also, like, change the priority of it. So, like, um, things of higher priority need to be on top. So one scar is always on top. Stuff like that. That's always on top of the other thing, like it's always on top of its reality. Things like that. So the white backgrounds are usually on top, depending on how much you have. That should be two scar, one scar, stuff like that. So just clicking it changes it. I don't know how many you can do. You can do five. That's just priority. I'm not sure what this means. I'm pretty sure that shows like what directions you can walk on it. So you can walk in any direction on this. But you could block off a side if I were to go like that. This is bush flag. 
I'm not exactly sure what that means. I'm pretty sure that means like Pokemon spawn in there or up here again. So there will be wild encounters and bush flags, which I guess is um like the grass you can walk through. Maybe it means it goes in front. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't see any other ones. But those two where Pokemon actually can appear, so that's why I think it's like that. The counter flag. I'm not sure what that actually does at all. I haven't seen anything like relevant or using this, but I don't see any like things that are using it either, like any of these tiles at all. So who knows? Maybe one of you guys noticed one while I was scrolling through really fast here, but I didn't see any, so I'll just click something and see what happens. Either it turns into a diamond or that. I'm not sure. Play around with it, play on something, and then see what happens when you step on it, I guess. And then there's train tags, which is what exactly each thing is. So this is all zero, meaning it's neutral. Two is like grass, I think. Three is sand. Five is water. I don't, I can't remember. There's quite a few. There's a whole list online, guys. I know this isn't a good tutorial, but explain later. Like, certain things have different properties based on what you put. But you'll probably just want zero, which is neutral. You don't want, I think, like, eight is bridge. And that's about as high as it gets. And, yeah. And you pick where it is, like, tile set. And C, see if it's sure. Like, these are the different graphics here. These are the ones I believe that actually move. So like flowers one and flower two, they rock and they like kind of bob and when you're walking around and stuff. So it's stuff like that. But anyways, so it's this one right here that was what I was going to do. And these are all the little tiles here. And cool. So they press apply. Okay. And now that thing will have all the properties we just gave it. So this weird derpy little piece of grass, you can put it wherever we want, doesn't really matter. But let's actually try and find somewhere that looks at least okay with it. I don't know, maybe if you like jump off of that and land on it kind of? No, still looks weird. I don't know. I'll find a spot for it guys, just give me a little bit of time here. It does look like a pile of leaves, actually, kind of. Or it looks like a pile of something. Like, it doesn't... And it's not what I thought it would look like. It's actually why I wanted it to look like at first, kind of. It's pretty cool. So maybe it'll be in Granite Town, right, like, outside someone's house type thing. Alright. So we'll put it right beside that person's house and now we'll check out the game and make sure everything works actually there's a lot a lot a lot in the game right now relevant to story like events that I might accidentally trigger so I need to watch out for those while I play test so yeah I'll just go to this guy and I'll just teleport to it so we need a debug and warp to map and we want to make sure that it is granite town that we go to and we want to avoid triggering any events by skipping anywhere in specific which is perfect that we're up here because there's no events up here and yeah see you can walk right through it the game can lag out a bit it's all good yeah so you have priorities so you actually walk on top of it I'm pretty sure there's a way to make it so that it has priority. Actually, I think that's what it was earlier. Here, I'll show you in one millisecond. Actually, let's just save right here, just so I can show you right away. Yeah. Yes. Alright. I'll just X out. Okay. So, I believe here's how it kind of works. Let me just... Go back to the database, I think it was, yeah. And tile sets, okay. But let's actually first check a bush with priority. Alright, so bushes you can't walk through, but yeah, 
See, it looks like these have some priority, priority one and two scar. So pretty much when you walk behind these things, you can actually walk behind them is what priority is. It puts them on top of your character by a certain level above the actual ground. So that's one level above the ground so your character can walk behind it. So if I were to make this one level above the ground, your character would walk behind it, but that would be silly of me to do, because as you can tell, there's a green background here, so it would just put the whole green background in front of me, but I might as well check if that's how it works. So we'll save changes, we'll play test one last time, check, and I will go in, and now, yeah, so when you're here, you can see it actually puts that new tile right in front of your character. So if this was all transparent above the leaf pile, it would look like there's just a leaf pile in front of me. But it's not, so it just looks like that, which is a little weird when I go behind it, so I'm going to get rid of that part. But as you can see, it does work, and the tile is in the game, it's fully functional and all that good stuff. So that's pretty cool, I think. And you can add whatever tile you want. You can play at the properties and make it do whatever you want it to do. It's pretty awesome, but I'm just going to go fix it back to normal. In this. Yeah. That. That makes sense. Perfect sense. All right. Kind of looks like a pile of trash. I don't know. But there's a lot of things I could do with this. It just takes so long to make it all transparent that... I don't know if I'll really bother with adding too many new tiles to this game. I might. Who knows? You never know. You never know. So yeah, I'm just gonna go fix that. Uh, priority. To put it back to zero. And of course, an unexpected cut happened, so I'm not sure exactly when it cut off, but I pretty much just turned this back to normal. So now there's just that new tile. I could put that wherever I want, if I want, I guess. That only makes sense, of course, but whatever. It's pretty cool, I think, that you can put that there, and it's kind of fun. Fun and nice and whatever. So yeah, guys, you can put whatever tiles you want. Make anything you like. If you want, maybe you could make a trash can with trash on the ground in front of it. Like an alternate version of the trash can for inside to make a messier looking room. Like with the quote unquote cabin here, which is just super messy for some reason. I don't know. I was just playing around with all the things I could do. Zirconium garden, which I need to make transparent on top of these trees. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Forgot to make the top of these trees transparent. So, guys, as you can tell, that's what happens if you forget to make something transparent. Don't, don't do that. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the episode, so if you liked it, make sure to let me know that you liked it by leaving a like. It's not too hard, just press that tiny thumbs up button at the bottom of the video as soon as you minimize. And if you want to keep in touch with all the progress in my game, the demo's coming out pretty soon, guys. I'm just going to go to, like, the second gym after the second gym's made, and the first gym's already made, and I'm on my way with the route to the second gym. But as soon as that second gym's ma gym is made... I'll release a demo of the game. It's pretty alpha, but it'll be fun to play around with, guys. You'll, I'll release it. You guys can get to play it. That will be cool. So if you want to know when that's happening, best way is to subscribe. So you'll get notified as soon as the trailer comes over or whatever I decide to do. And, guys, if you have any topics or, like, ideas or things you just want to learn how to do, just tell me I'm in the comments. I'll try and do a video showing you how to do whatever it is you want to do. Until next time, stay awesome. Bye-bye.